I know people are incredibly upset. Um, I, I clearly am. But once again, this shows you how lucky you are to have a great quarterback. We keep telling you what decision making is for football. It's all about what's up here. You can be the best athlete in the world, but if you don't have it up here, understanding situations, understanding your personnel, um, these types of things happen. Um, I don't blame Mariota for that throw. I just think it was the wrong person. You got to understand your personnel. Drake London and Kyle Pitts, that's what, that's what they make their bones on in college, the NFL, those jump balls, and like I said, I'm I'm not upset with um, how the game ended. I'm just upset on how just like I said, it was a it, it's an aggressive play, um, it's an aggressive throw, but I just thought it was not at that time. You don't make that throw at that time. You had plenty of time on the clock, and that essentially killed all your hopes with that type. So if you're gonna make that type of throw, like K-Style just alluded to earlier before we start the show, you got to understand uh, who has the hot hand, and I'll pass the mic over to K-Style from that point. Oh, man, as we already know on that last drive. I got to start off by saying I give a shout out to these Falcons, man. 28 to 3, ironically 5 three minutes to go in the third quarter and you pull it within scoring opportunity <sighs> I think the issue is this is kind of like the same thing that we've been saying seeing the last couple weeks is these mental mistakes and scoring opportunities whether it be false starts turnovers um people missing assignments and it kind of came back to kind of bit us in the ass at the end um it's unfortunate that it had we've had to see two red zone opportunities get squandered for only three points in this game Well, no, three red zone opportunities because Kuhn missed the first field goal. <clears throat> this is what this is when we did our keys. This is why this is why I say finish what you started. There's a there's a bunch of people in here that that deserve the um get your get their asses roasted today for the performance we had but as bad as michael walker played the whole game his interception kind of turned the tide for this team which i would give him credit for because then everybody was locked in and boom come back coming because michael walker played horrible today uh, like i said outside that fourth quarter boy boy we we looked we we looked at him and said we still miss Debo, bro. I'm I ain't even gonna tell you. No, we miss Debo worst way right now. 